A Second Chance The Story of a Near Death Experience Part 4 Yamaraja's Instructions on the Holy Name Chapter 19 Erasing All Doubts King Parikshit said Oh my lord O Shukadeva Goswami Yamaraja is the controller of all living entities in terms of their religious and irreligious activities but his order had been foiled when his servants the yamadutas informed him of their defeat by the vishnu dutas what did he reply o great sage never before has it been heard anywhere that an order from yamaraja has been baffled therefore i think that people will have doubts about this that no one but you can eradicate since this is my firm conviction kindly explain the reasons for these events Sri Shukadeva Goswami replied My dear king when the order carriers of Yamaraja were baffled and defeated by the order carriers of Vishnu they approached their master the controller of Samyamani Puri and master of sinful persons to tell him of this incident the Yamadutta said Our dear lord how many controllers are there in this material world How many causes are responsible for manifesting the various results of activities performed under the three modes of material nature if in this universe there are many judges who disagree about punishment and reward their contradictory actions will neutralize one another and no one will be punished or rewarded otherwise if their contradictory acts fail to neutralize one another everyone will have to be both punished and rewarded since there are many different karmis of fruitive workers there may be different judges to give them justice but just as one central emperor controls different departmental rulers there must be one supreme controller to guide all the judges the supreme judge must be one not many it was our understanding that you are that supreme judge and that you have jurisdiction even over the demigods Our impression was that you are the master of all living entities the supreme authority who discriminates between the pious and impious activities of all human beings but now we see that the punishment ordained under your authority is no longer effective since your order has been transgressed by four wonderful and perfect persons we were bringing the most sinful ajamila toward the hellish planets following your order when those beautiful persons from siddhaloka forcibly cut the knots of the ropes with which we were arresting him as soon as the sinful ajamila uttered the name narayana these four beautiful men immediately arrived and reassured him saying do not fear do not fear we wish to know about them from your lordship If you think we are able to understand them kindly describe who they are Sri Shukadeva Goswami said thus having been questioned Lord Yamaraja was very pleased with his order carriers because of hearing from them the holy name of Narayana he remembered the lotus feet of the lord and began to reply from the Shrimad Bhagavatam canto 6 chapter 3 verses 1 to 11 who's in charge Maharaja Parikshit became astonished and asked Shukadeva Goswami how is it possible for anyone to surpass the order of Yamaraja no body can supersede a warrant issued by the police magistrate similarly Yamaraja is the chief of the universal police and he acts on behalf of the supreme personality of god at Krishna Yamaraja's business is to arrest all the criminal living entities and subject them to punishment in his region yamaloka sinful persons are taken there and put into various hellish conditions the case of ajamila however is exceptional the yamadutas were ordered to arrest him and bring him to the court of yamaraja but the vishnu dutas released him from their grasp the vishnu dutas interference with the yamadutas was apparently unlawful but just as lord vishnu can do anything his messengers can likewise nullify any order in the material world 
that is the power of the supreme lord in the material world no one has the authority or power to check the orders of yamaraja but the vishnu dutas acted under the higher authority of the supreme lord when the yamadutas returned to yamaloka they immediately went to yamaraja and asked how is it that we were checked from carrying out our duty my dear lord how many controllers are there are you the only controller or are there many other controllers less intelligent men think that a particular demigod such as indra surya or chandra is supreme this is like thinking the policeman on the street is all powerful within the state there are so many police constables controlling the crowd in the street but only foolish persons do not understand that above the constables are many higher officers all the way up to the police commissioner the governor of the state and the president the yamadutha simply carried out the orders of yamaraja thinking him to be the supreme controller and this was the first incident in which they were stopped from executing his orders trila vishwanath chakravarti thakura says that the yamadutas were so disappointed that it was almost with anger that they asked yamaraja whether there were many masters other than him furthermore because the yamadutas had been defeated and their master could not protect them they were inclined to say that there was no need to serve such a master if a servant cannot carry out the orders of his master without being defeated what is the use of serving such a powerless master because the yamadutas had been stopped they doubted whether yamaraja actually had the power to punish the sinful although they had gone to arrest ajamila following yamaraja's order they found themselves unsuccessful because of the order of some higher authority therefore they were unsure of whether there were many authorities or only one if there were many authorities who gave different judgments which could be contradictory a person might be wrongly punished or wrongly rewarded or he might be neither punished nor rewarded according to our experience in the material world a person punished in one court may appeal to another thus the same man may be either punished or rewarded according to different judgments however in the law of nature or the court of the supreme personality of godhead there cannot be such contradictory judgments the judges and their judgments must be perfect and free from contradictions actually the position of yamaraja was very awkward in the case of ajamila because according to everything they had been taught by yamaraja the yamadutas were right in attempting to arrest ajamila but the vishnu dutas had baffled them although yamaraja under these circumstances was accused by both the vishnu dutas and the yamadutas he is perfect in administering justice because he is empowered by the supreme personality of godhead therefore he will explain what his real position is and how everyone is controlled by the supreme controller the personality of godhead in this world there must be measures for controlling the living entities shastra or scripture is meant for controlling civilized men from this word comes the word shishya meaning disciple or one who voluntarily accepts the control or guidance of the spiritual master those who are not gentle must be controlled by astra or weapons the police force needs guns and clubs to control the thieves and rogues of society the yamadutas inquired from their master whether there are different departments of justice for different types of men in the material world a person is contaminated by some combination of the three qualities of nature goodness passion and ignorance and he conducts his activities accordingly symptoms of one chiefly under the influence of the mode of ignorance are laziness excessive sleeping and uncleanliness the main symptom of one chiefly under the influence of the mode of passion is a strong desire to exploit material nature and other living entities 
for one's own sense enjoyment and the chief symptom of one under the influence of the mode of goodness is knowing things as they are to such a person everything is revealed in its proper way the yamaduta suggested there may be many controllers of people in the different modes of nature but who is the chief controller and how are his actions carried out as far as we know you are the controller of everyone in governmental management there may be departmental officials to give justice to different persons but the law must be one and that central law must control everyone the yamadutas could not imagine that two judges would give two different verdicts in the same case and therefore they wanted to know who the supreme judge is the yamadutas were certain that ajamila was a most sinful man but although yamaraja wanted to punish him the vishnudutas excused him this was a puzzling situation that the yamadutas wanted yamaraja to clarify the yamadutas had thought that yamaraja was the only person in charge of administering justice they were fully confident that no one could counteract his judgments but now to their surprise his order had been violated by the four wonderful persons from siddha loka shrila vishwanatha chakravarti thakura suggests that the yamadutas may have said to yamaraja we think that your absolute power of controlling is finished because four very wonderful personalities checked us from executing our duty which you gave us vishwanatha chakravarti also remarks that the yamadutas may have wanted to bring the vishnudutas before yamaraja if yamaraja could then have punished the vishnudutas the yamadutas would have been satisfied otherwise they desired to commit suicide before pursuing either course however they wanted to know about the vishnudutas from yamaraja who is also omniscient submissive inquiry the yamaduta said we wish to learn from you what are the actual facts regarding this incident if you think that we shall be able to understand please enlighten us this is the way of inquiring submissively from superiors not challenging we shall always find that maharaja parikshit arjuna and anyone else executing this process of spiritual enlightenment inquires with humble submission and a mood of service merely because we put a question to our superior does not mean that he is obliged to answer us sometimes he may refuse if we are not able to comprehend the answer we cannot demand inquiry submission and service are the way to knowledge whenever maharaja parikshit questioned shukadeva goswami he said very submissively if you think that i shall be able to understand please answer this question before yamaraja replied to the yamadutas He first remembered the lotus feet of the supreme personality of Godhead Krishna just as the subordinate puts the question to his superior with a submissive attitude similarly the superior is not proud boasting yes i can answer your question he remembers the lotus feet of the lord and prays whatever you help me to speak i'll answer as long as the teacher is not proud and the disciple is not disobedient puffed up or impudent they can exchange spiritual questions and answers one should not inquire in a challenging mood and the one who answers should remember the lotus feet of the lord so that the right answer will be given yamaraja was very pleased with his servants because they had chanted the holy name of narayana in his dominion Yamaraja has to deal with men who are all sinful and who can hardly understand Narayana. Consequently, when his order carriers uttered the name of Narayana, he was extremely pleased, for he is also a Vaishnava.